Community leaders working to help low-income residents of Ontario with their legal problems created the first legal aid clinics in Ontario over 40 years ago. These leaders expected the legal clinics to provide a range of legal services, including legal advice and information, legal representation, self-help assistance and referrals. In addition, these leaders recognized the importance of working on systemic legal issues to promote the well-being of the broader community through community development, community organizing, law reform, and public legal education and test cases. West Scarborough Community Legal Services believes that community development, community organizing, law reform, public legal education, and test cases is critical to bring justice to all and to create an inclusive legal system to reflect today's society and the needs of low-income individuals. Due to unexpected policy changes and the impact on our community during this COVID-19 pandemic, West Scarborough Community Legal Services has been obligated to do more community development and law reform work than before to ensure that our community needs and concerns are realized in the new government policy changes, which will help many to keep food on the table and a roof over their head. Moreover, West Scarborough Community Legal Services is also committed to offering public legal education sessions to educate our community about the significant changes regarding employment insurance, social assistance, housing, and the new federal and provincial COVID-19 recovery benefits. West Scarborough Community Legal Services has obtained community feedback and reached out to over 650,000 individuals throughout outreach and PLEs during this pandemic. We were able to influence government policy decisions and advocate to easy access and create income for unemployed and precarious workers during this tough time. We have also published educational materials and provided workshops and ethnic media discussion about benefits during COVID-19, workers' rights, and tenants' rights. These were presented in different languages such as Tamil, Arabic, Chinese, Dari, and Tagalog. We reached out largely to the Black community to inform these residents about all the various legal changes to government policies during COVID-19 that would most affect low-income earners. I cherished this chance to do such meaningful outreach to my community, working with a team who had the same passion for advocacy as I do. The other animators also focused on specific communities. We got busy letting people know individually and in well-attended webinars how they have rights as workers and also rights as people who lost jobs and income during COVID-19's lockdown. It's quite a helpful project and a gratifying experience on all sides to empower people with knowledge about their rights. This increased my confidence to seek and gain membership in a new partnership and accountability circle, which is part of Toronto's Confronting Anti-Black Racism Task Force. And this new initiative will create and blend diverse strategies of black youth and elders with true allies dedicated to building bridges with accountability. There is no racial justice without accountability to acknowledge that we all deserve equity. Hi, my name is Siva. West Cabro Community Legal Services Workshop have helped me understand the services that were offered to low-income people during this pandemic. This information helped me access these services. This prevented my family from ending up on the street. The clinic also helped my family with obtaining EI and recovery benefits. This helped my family pay bills. Good to see clinics care about us and low-income community well-being during this tough time. Thank you. This pandemic has affected all of us. People who are racialized, vulnerable, and low income have been hit hard. Therefore, the clinics have a high obligation to do community development work more than ever to support our community and our neighborhoods. 
West Scarborough Community Legal Services, along with community leaders and other advocates, were able to fight for the following policy changes during COVID-19 to address community needs. An increase in access to EI benefits by reducing qualifying hours to 120 hours with COVID credit in all regions of Canada. An increase in duration to at least 50 weeks in all regions for people who applied after September 2020. An increase in minimum benefits to at least $500 per week. Eliminated the allocations of severance pay and two-week waiting period. Improve access to the EI system, especially for precarious and vulnerable workers. We advocated and provided feedback for the creation of CERB, Canada Emergency Student Benefits, and Recovery Benefits for precarious workers, which allowed many women, self-employed and part-time workers, whose work has been affected by COVID-19. West Scarborough has also collaborated with other clinics and social assistant recipients to improve benefits and regulations. Additionally, we were involved in research on how social work can enhance services in community legal clinics by providing wraparound support to clients. Hello, my name is Kim Marshall and I'd like to talk a little bit about the leadership training course that I took through West Scarborough Community Legal Services and the type of help that it gave me in regards to opportunities to advocate as a strong member with my community in Scarborough on topics like rooming houses and uh, low-income housing and employment insurance and sick benefits and all of these types of topics that really contribute towards poverty in our city and the fact that I was able to um, continue on from there to become a member of Voices of Scarborough and Power Community and as well as a City Housing Advisory Committee and I was able to talk to politicians and really advocate towards better rights for people with employment insurance and again with the housing and we accomplished some great things as far as it was six years working on the employment insurance campaign and they are now addressing the sick, sick benefits and going down from 15 weeks of entitlement up to 26. So that is great that is going to help so many people and that's supposed to be coming uh, this summer and I hope that it continues on beyond the pandemic because this is this is money that people need this is money that people put put into themselves through working and in times of need especially when our health is jeopardized well that's when we need that those opportunities the most so West Scarborough Community Legal Services helped me through their training programs to advocate for these causes and feel like I have contributed towards making some real change. Thank you very much. West Scarborough Community Legal Services and community leaders' advocacy work led the city to commit to hold community-friendly consultations and allocate funds for community consultation on housing issues and rebuilding the city due to COVID-19. We educated decision makers and the community about the affordable homes and the needs of legalizing rooming house, especially in Scarborough. Now, city staff recognize that rooming houses are affordable homes and host community consultation, which could lead to legalizing rooming houses across the city. West Scarborough continues to work with other housing advocates and provide community feedback to the City of Toronto. This feedback has been mostly adopted by the City. Currently, there is the Housing Now Project and the Housing TO 2020-2030 Action Plan to bring more affordable housing to low-income people and Toronto. We also advocated to include lived experts' voice in decision-making they were included in decision-making with the city and federal advisory committees. 
we believe that by empowering and including lived expert in decision making and through community development work we can make systemic change and addressing inequality and reduce poverty community development is a powerful tool to bring justice to all